So tonight, I just got home from work about 20 minutes ago, and I want to make stew for dinner. And um, that's one of the best things about the Instant Pot. We gave an Instant Pot to one of our kids for Christmas, and she said, it's not really instant, you know? It, it takes longer than uh, obviously cooking something in the microwave, but there are a lot of foods that you can cook a lot faster in a pressure cooker than you can if you use a traditional method. And stew on a weeknight is sure one of those. So for this recipe, my sister Molly in Seattle sent me this link to this uh, really, really cool um, cooking blog. It's called Sidewalk Shoes. And this is a recipe for stew with figs and um, onions and uh, carrots. And I'm going to throw some green beans in there too. So the way I'm going to start this is I've heated up some olive oil and I have hit saute on my Instant Pot and that is nice and hot. And the first thing I'm going to do is just brown. I have about a pound of stew meat here. And I'm going to let that just brown for uh, few minutes so that it's nice on all sides and then I'll remove that from the pot saute my vegetables for a little bit and then throw everything back in together so that it can cook for about 30 minutes okay so my meat has been browning for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna just take it out with a slotted spoon here and set it aside for a bit if you use more meat, the, the recipe that Molly sent me actually called for three pounds of meat, but we, we don't need that much dinner tonight. So if you use more meat, grab a bigger bowl. Now what I'm going to do, I'm leaving that on saute, and I have cut up a whole bunch of, um, or one lovely sweet onion. So I have a lot of pieces here. The recipe calls for pearl onions, but I don't have those. It's a weeknight. I'm not going shopping. I'm cooking with what I have and we always buy a lot of onions every week because I can't every night I, I'm cooking something that takes onions and now what I'm going to do with these onions is just let those um, cook on the saute function for about five minutes. Okay, while we're waiting for the onions to cook, I thought I would explain. Um, this recipe does call for just a few dried figs, and I never cooked with figs in my whole life. So I had to actually send a picture of this to my sister and say, is this a dried fig? And she said, yes, it is. I got these at Fresh Market, and they're pretty pricey, but they last a long time in the refrigerator. So for this recipe, you take this fig, and you, you cut off, I cut off both ends. So Molly said, cut off the end, and I didn't know which one she was talking about. And then I just cut this into quarters like that. And I'm going to just throw these nice little fig pieces into the stew. And Molly said that it just turns into this lovely, subtle, sweet flavor with the, with the wine sauce and the carrots and all the spices in this stew. Okay, so the onions have been cooking for about five minutes. They look really pretty and translucent. If you want to look... See, they're looking good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cup and a half of red wine and just pour that in there and scrape everything up off the bottom and stir that for a little bit. Okay, it smells good. Now, I'm adding a little bit of fresh green beans to this recipe. I cut up about a cup of fresh green beans. I have about four carrots that I've cut up into, um, you know, about two inch slices like that. And I'm going to add these figs. I've cut up about probably seven of those figs into four pieces. And then what I'm also going to add, I'm going to throw in some sprigs of fresh rosemary that I just cut from the garden, some thyme that I've cut from the garden, and I have also some fresh Italian parsley. So I'm throwing that in there. I'm throwing the meat back in. Scrape, make sure I scrape all the good juice out of that bowl. And stirring this up. It's really pretty and it smells good. It looks very, um, looks like something you'd get, you know, in the French countryside if you stopped at a little inn. That looks great, and I am going to 
start my pressure cooker now. So what I do is I turn this off for a minute, get my lid in place, make sure that I have my seal secure there. Everything's, um, <laughs> everything's in place, clean. And so I'm going to pop the lid on. Make sure that my lid is, my valve here is pointing to ceiling and I'm going to hit manual. If, you're, if your pressure cooker doesn't have a manual button, you want to hit high pressure. And I am going to now set this to cook for 30 minutes. And that's it. We're going to walk away and then after that we're going to do a natural release. Okay, so my stew cooked in the pressure cooker for 30 minutes and then um, I'm doing a natural release for probably 15 or 20 minutes. Right now I think it's at the um, it's at the seven minute mark so we're probably looking at another 13 minutes on that. What I'm going to serve this with, this stew, is polenta and it's super easy to cook. I bought this polenta that I'm not super familiar with but it says one minute cooking time but not an instant product and actually I'm cooking I've got some uh, lovely turkey broth going here and it's simmering. I've got four cups of turkey broth and one and one third cup of polenta that I'm stirring into this broth and I'm just going to cook that for one minute and that'll be real nice to go with my stew. Okay. So this has been uh, doing a natural release for about 20 minutes. I think that's plenty and it is, it is, the valve is completely down. So I'm going to open this up. Oh, it looks really pretty. The, it smells good. And um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix, I've got a teaspoon of cornstarch here and I'm going to mix two teaspoons of water with that. Just mix that up so it's not lumpy. And pour that into my stew. And I'm going to turn this off and then hit saute. So I'm, I just want that uh, cornstarch to thicken up the broth a little bit. It's very, very pretty. And I'm going to take out these sprigs of um, thyme. Just the, there's no leaves left on that. This looks really nice and the meat looks very, very tender. It, um, so I'm going to let that simmer for about one minute. And what I'm going to do right now is put a little polenta in each of our dishes. Polenta is just cornmeal and you cook it up and um, you could you could serve this stew with potatoes or rice or egg noodles but I thought that polenta looked really pretty and that's what Pam Greer who has this blog that's what she did and I thought that looked really appetizing. Put a little fresh garden parsley here so that it will look pretty and for a few more seconds and I'll be ready to serve that up. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off and grab a bowl and pour some of this over my polenta. And see these little, little stems of some of my herbs those out of there. This looks very pretty. And I want to taste how it how it tastes. A little bit of that meat. Mm. Oh my god. That meat is so tender. It's delicious. One of the things I love about the Instant Pot 
is that when I cook meat in the Instant Pot, it never turns out dry. This uh, broth has this lovely sweetness from the figs, but it's not overpowering. This is a lovely dinner. And, and this took about an hour and a half after I got home from work. And that's a pretty elegant dinner to have on a weeknight.